Honorable uh, Distinguished Minister, you came to see the program. Can we know why you are here today? Well, uh, uh, I was uh, to brief him uh, last week, but uh, we couldn't because of uh, other issues that took away the President's time. And today, uh, I had to see him to appraise him with uh, the labor industrial uh, uh, milieu, especially when you know that um, the ju judicial and uh, parliamentary workers, Jusun and Pasan respectively, had been on strike that last year for two months. We achieved a uh, truce, threw up an agreement, and uh, uh, we had to today uh, submit uh, his own copies of agreement to him. We are going to monitor the agreement. He is very interested in it. And uh, if you remember, he had to uh, do an executive order 10 uh, in consonance uh, with the Constitution so that we have uh, independence, financial autonomy for the judiciary and the uh, legislature in the states. So uh, it's one of the th things. And uh, uh, he was happy, that at least, that the strikes have been called off. We also looked at the Kaduna State Government, uh, Nigerian Labor Congress in Broglie. We had arrested uh, the strikes there, apprehended them, and uh, formed committees for the workers uh, Nigerian, through, through the Nigerian Labor Congress and the Cardinal State Government, <clears throat> so that they can do some uh, social dialoguing and uh, uh, reconciliation through that uh, route. The NSC just uh, five days ago, wrote to Mr. President complaining that the Canada State government wasn't keeping to their own side of uh, the agreement uh, signed, uh, especially in the area of victimization of uh, workers. They said that the government of Canada State had uh, exited some staff <clears throat> from their workforce for participating in the strike. And um, Mr. President sought for advice on it, and uh, we've transmitted the advice today. So we, I and the Chief of Staff, have jointly briefed him on that, and we're taking action to make sure we don't have a repeat of what happened in that state. Uh, state that's already bedeviled with uh, security issues. Uh, we don't want uh, any more compounding of those issues. We also looked at the uh, security situation, especially in my zone in the southeast, and um, we uh, made some proposals to him based on uh, the yearnings of the people and uh, what the government also wants. And uh, we're following up with dialogue, which uh, is, at the end of the day, is what will happen. We have to talk, we have to discuss. And um, part of the uh, discussion starts also tomorrow. Uh, the Minister of Defense and Minister of Interior and um, the Service Chiefs we were in Enugu earlier last uh, Saturday, and we are going to do follow-up meetings on that, uh, again, from, starting from tomorrow. So, we are, we briefed him, and uh, we accepted that the dialogue uh, is where to go in, uh, in all this. And like I keep on saying, there is a, a very thin line between perception and reality. So certain things will be done, at least to assuage the feelings of the people in the area. And uh, 
make them not feel unwanted. So that area was also discussed. Thank you. Okay, uh, uh, there is another round of you know crisis looming in the universities now. Uh, uh, Senior staff assistants from Nigerian universities, the industrial court gave a judgment stopping the federal government from removing names of uh, workers in star, uh, staff schools. But recently, there is a circular that those names should also now be removed, and that thing is causing crisis. What are you doing about that? Well, I have not gotten. Uh, a report from uh, the Senior Staff Association of Nigeria on that particular issue. But if I remember correctly, it's one of the issues that have been conciliated upon following a National Industrial Court judgment uh, about two years ago. So I'll be surprised if uh, that matter rears its head again. The issue is very clear. If uh, the universities employ people in their, in their primary school, uh, then those people are not university staff. If they employ people in uh, secondary school, for those of them who have secondary school, again, the courts have demarcated what is to be done, especially in terms of the capital component of those schools and the recurrent component of those schools. So when we get their letter, we will uh, address it, we will treat it. I don't think it will result in any industrial action again, because it's not a new matter. Maybe finally, sir, um, very soon, a number of states will be having its uh, governorship. Okay. Yes. Now, from all that is happening in that zone, yeah. now, would you want to use this forum to assure the people that the elections will go peacefully and credibly? Peacefully and even credibly. Uh, peacefully is not my own to say. It's uh, the, the governor of the state and the security chiefs, the general of police, that can tell you about the security arrangement they're making for the place. Credibly, yes, on the part of uh, the party, our party behaving uh, well, and according to the Electoral Act, yes, we can assure you we will do so. But uh, the other parties, other political parties, and uh, uh, their supporters, uh, how they will behave, I cannot tell you. But we will be preaching that let everybody give the election uh, credibility and make it to be free and fair. And that's what we want, so that the electorate can uh, choose who they want to govern them for the next four years after Governor Obiano. So our party will do the needful, we will campaign without violence, we will try to convince the people that uh, the candidate we are giving them is uh, the best candidate that will carry the problem of the state, display competence and uh, uh, good uh, ma management of uh, their resources, both material and uh, human to leave the state to move to a greater height. Any chance for APC in number states? Why not? Why not? After our primaries, you see our candidate, and then you will know that APC has a big chance, a great chance, because the other parties are already enmeshed in uh, uh, controversies, fashionalism, and uh, uh, what have you. So uh, we are safe ground. While they will be in court and be in um, other places of arbitration, we will be doing our campaign. And uh, the people will know that we are the serious people, and that uh, we are reliable, and that the state can be entrusted to us to manage for them. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, mm -hmm.